Today we're going to go over a unit that many of you that watch my videos asked about quite a few times, the Dolby 361. Originally made in the late 60s as a noise reduction unit to help combat tape hiss and other artifacts that you wouldn't want on your tracks. Somewhere along the way, engineers and artists have figured out with a simple modification, you could turn these Dolby 361 units into a sweet, sizzling, top-end distortion that you could add to your tracks that sounds really sweet. I've never heard a plug-in that could come close to this unit and what it does. John Lennon used it on vocals. Many other artists love it on vocals. I also love it on snare, acoustic guitar. Anything you want to accentuate your high-end frequency spectrum, this is the unit. We're gonna go over the Dolby 361 right now. Here is my pair of Dolby 361s, made in the late 60s. Super heavy-duty, thick-gauge steel, quarter-inch thick face plates. Real robust switching on them. So basically what these units are is companders, compressors and expanders. And they take these Cat 22 cards. I have like five or six of these. You could do different modifications for them. So this bottom one is not modified, but this top one is. And this modification is the most common one that people like. It's the high frequency modification. And it's very simple to do. All you do is snip resistor R109 and resistor R209. So you could buy these cards very cheap online. You buy them, you take the plate off of them, you snip those two resistors, and you now have a high frequency modified card that adds a sweet top end sizzle to your tracks. First of all, let me tell you what I have going on. I have 12 drum tracks that I recorded spread across 12 channels of my console. Besides that, I'm not using any plugins or any outboard gear. The only thing we're using is the Dolby 361 with the exception of reverb. I have one reverb plugin on here, just adding a very short decay. And really fast, we're gonna hear it with and without the reverb just so you can hear what it's doing. So this is it with the verb. So that's it. Besides that, there's no plugins, no outboard gear. Let's hear the Dolby 361. So here is the drums without the Dolby 361, and then I'm gonna add the Dolby 361, and you're gonna see and hear how it just adds a top end spectrum of distortion, high frequency distortion sprinkled over the whole kit, even though it's only on the mono snare drum. So here we go. Since the Dolby 361 is a compander, which is a combination of a compressor and an expander, just adding it to the snare drum, not the bottom snare mic, I got the snare mic twice, I got a top mic and a bottom mic, it's only on the top mic track. It's basically adding compression and ex an expander over the whole kit. You could hear it throughout the kit. All right, so let's solo out the snare drum now and let me take it out of the circuit and let's hear the snare drum without it and then I'm going to add the Dolby 361. Here it is. This is just the top snare mic, not the bottom.
Okay, so now we're going to go over the 361 in parallel on a vocal. So here's what I have set up. I pulled up a session with a vocal. We're going to hear only the lead vocal. I have that coming to channel 20. Inserted on the channel 20 is my 1176, the top one right here. Besides that, just a little verb uh, being brought back to 23 and 24, stereo, hard pan left and right. So very little verb just to give it some space. Now, also on that track, the vocal track, I set up an auxiliary, mono out, hitting the Dolby 361 and returning it to channel 21. Right now I have channel 21 muted. So the Dolby 361 is not on the vocal. So I'm gonna play the vocal and then I'll play it with the Dolby 361. Close your eyes to this world, await heaven's compromise. Don't come back to this world, you could forfeit any prize. You're looking cold today, did you stay up late? Stretched by wit, impending fate. Close your eyes to this world, it's the grandest show devised. So that vocal, pretty good, um, but it could be brightened up a little bit. I could reach for an EQ or I could parallel it with the Dolby 361. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to play this again without the Dolby 361. And then I'm going to engage the Dolby 361 and you're going to hear the air that it adds to the vocal. Close your eyes to this world, await heaven's compromise. Don't come back to this world. You could forfeit any prize. You're looking cold today. Did you stay up late? Stretched by wit, impending fate. Close your eyes to this world. It's the grandest show device. What I heard was a top end lift sizzle. Yes, it got louder because it's in parallel. That top end sizzly distortion on the vocal would just make that vocal cut through the mix that much better. All right, so let me do this really fast. I'm going to play the track again with the Dolby 361 on, and then I'm gonna disengage it and then re-engage it so we could hear what it's doing to the vocal. Close your eyes to this world, await heaven's compromise. Don't come back to this world, you could forfeit any prize. You're looking cold today, did you stay up late? Stretched by wit, impending fate. Close your eyes to this world, it's the grandest show device. That right there, um, got a good singer. Uh, that was my U47 into my Neve 1066, and I believe either into the Fatso or my gate stay level it sounds more of like my fat so so that was probably i did this band's full album and we used a couple different compressors no eq there's no eq on that track it's the singer into the microphone here we are hearing it little bit of verb didn't reach for eq reach for the dolby 361 and that's the result let me know what you think about the dolby 361 thanks for watching